So the last episode of the playing series was in fact titled I Shot My Load. Because I did, I shot 79. That's the worst score that I've shot in a very long time. I've been shooting around par recently, but I knew that I couldn't break through, be consistent playing the way I was, which is why I've made this change and now I'm taking steps backwards. But I learned quite a lot on that day playing East, playing East Devon. The bad shots were the big rights. That's led to pretty much all of the drop shots. And looking back, I was really surprised to see, well, not really surprised, but so every bad swing on that day led from firstly setting up closed, pretty much setting up for playing a draw. Then I was taking the club back a bit inside and then getting the hands really high. High hands, shut position. You, you, this is no way of scoring a club up. Now the changes that I've been making are just trying to get the club more online and get the left arm going across the shoulders at the top of backswing and then taking dynamic loft off and um, exiting left. And the bad swings just went nowhere near that, so it just shows how much work needs to be put in to get this part of the changes right. So yeah, we're back on it. And um, I probably sounded a bit negative in the last one, but I'm not. I knew that I was going to shoot probably a high number, but I wouldn't have known that I still had that big right one if it hadn't gone out and actually played. So, so fucking yes. We're going to get working on the game again. Next week, I've got a trip to Portugal. I've got three days out there at Westcliffs. Now, if you've seen Westcliffs before, it looks pretty sick. So I'm going there to work on my game and play a few courses out there. So we're going to take the playing series to Portugal next week, which I can't wait to do. But until then, we've got some work to do. So let's get on with it. So this is actually one of those range sessions that started off in a really bad way. And I don't know if you guys have felt this before, but if you've had a lesson and a couple of weeks later, sometimes you can forget the, the positions that they were trying to get you in or the feelings that they're trying to get you in. And this kind of happened on this session. I kind of lost the, the right feel of where I needed the club to be, where I needed the arms to be, etc. So these first two sets were really bad, hitting it awful, just disconnected. Um, just didn't like this, the feeling of the swing at all, but then I got that feeling back of keeping the right elbow in front of my hip whilst rotating the left arm, and that got the club moving back in the right way into this next set here. Now, you could argue that the club is slightly laid off, but I don't really have a problem with that. My feet are aiming left. I'm trying to start it left. And you can see here that the club's exiting left. And I started hitting some really, really good solid shots. And if you compare the first two sets to this one, it just looks so much more connected. And the way that I finished the swing just shows that. So yeah, we found it. Hey, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you? Hi, oh, mate. Can I get a large iced soy latte, please? Everything yeah, else, please. Uh, can you put a bit of cinnamon on it, mate? Absolutely. Sound. That's it, mate. Okay, do I grab one, Thank you. Iced soy latte with cinnamon. That's what a spot men drink, mate. Oh, that's fucking good. Well, I'm not going to drink all that now. I've got a couple of PT sessions, and then I'm going to train later, and it's the third lifting session slash plyo session. So I'm thinking about adding one plyometric session in a week with the other strength lifting. Um, so tonight is actually plyo and hypertrophy. I still think hypertrophy is a very important aspect. A bigger muscle has the potential to be a stronger muscle. So, got to get some hypertrophy in there as well. Now in the meantime, it's Jimmy Avin time. I felt like the start of that session was so bad and by the end of it, I felt really good. So I think what I'm gonna do is take that to tomorrow and try and hit about 500 balls with that feeling. It's just gonna take thousands of thousands of balls to actually, to actually get this swing change feeling natural. Obviously this channel now is, is completely focused on me improving as a golfer, competing professionally and just going for that, you know, that target, that goal. Um, so leave a comment down below, what are your goals, what are you striving towards, could be in any topic, subject, sport, education, whatever, what are your goals and um, what do you do to remain positive whilst striving towards those goals because you do get knocked back a lot, whatever you do, what do you do to remain positive whilst striving towards them? Yes, just got down to unit seven, it's 8.45. But I've got to get this session in, this is the plyometrics and hypertrophy. It's probably one of the funnest sessions to do of the week. Um, so this is probably gonna set me 
probably around an hour. It's probably gonna take around an hour, so I'm gonna take you in the now, hopefully show you a few exercises. Work is still being done on this golf ebook. I'm just finalizing the programs. I'm also gonna start like writing it to to make it a proper, proper thing. I know a lot of you are looking forward to, to seeing this when it comes out and I wanna make it as good as possible, really make it a good product for you all. Well, good morning guys, so it's now 10.30, I'm down at X-Men's driving range, I've been here since 9 o'clock hitting balls. For the first hour, I've literally just been working on the same feels that I had at the end of yesterday's session, getting the club moving back in the right way, exiting left, de-lofting it, and it's feeling pretty good. So, the time lapse you just saw, so for the last 10 balls, I've actually picked a target, gone through pre-shot routine, and tried to get those swing feels into a proper golf shot, not just hitting balls at target, but stepping back, going through routine and trying to hit target. Um, about seven out of 10, so pretty good. Now I'm gonna be working on half swings of wedges, getting the club moving back in the right way. I'm really trying to feel like I'm de-lofting the club because I feel like that probably still needs a bit of work. So, so yeah, that's the feel. So club moving back in the right way, and then through impact, I'm literally just trying to take as much loft off as possible. 